Now we're going to move on to another game called Trans America. Yes, sir. It's designed by Franz Beno DeLong. Artist is Marcel Andre Casasola. You know what? Okay, let me explain y'all something. I went from last week. I did pretty good with the names because uh, I had stuff typed out. I think this guy actually has four names. I was I, at first. I thought I missed a comma. So let me start over. It's Marcel Andre Casasola Merkel, and it's published by Real Grand Games. <laughs> if you can only see Matt's writing, oh, I guess you can if you check out the YouTube. Uh, yeah, maybe. Uh, that. It's not that bad. It was just I thought I missed a comma. This guy had four names, so <laughs> I, that kind of threw me off. But I was trying to gather what happened. But fair enough. Well, Trans America is basically a train game where you have a map of the U.S. You have different cities everywhere, and the, unlike uh, the biggest thing you can compare this to is Ticket to Ride. The difference is instead of having pre-generated routes that you take, you're building where you want. It's just the map of the U.S. is more like a hex grid, but you're putting up train pieces or little sticks, basically, yeah. uh, on the lines of the hexes. And it's it's pretty simple. You get There's five different colors of cities. So there might be four or five blues, four or five greens, et cetera, throughout the whole map. They're in different sections. So like the... You know the blue is all the way at the top, and or where I don't even. Yeah, remember. blue was top. Um, yeah, I mean, just yes. an example. Yellow was Midwest, I think. Right. Red so was East Coast. Essentially, you're going to get one of each color, and you got to connect them all. But the colors are spread out across the whole U.S. So every player is going to have something that they need to go across the U.S. for. It just might be in a slightly different position. Right. And what happens is on your turn, it's pretty simple. You get two little black train sticks <laughs> and you can place them where you want as long as they're connected to you have like a starting depot or something yes. and you have to start from there uh players take turns putting those out so you have different starting locations based on you know you see the cards that you need and you're like well i gotta connect these five cities this is a good midpoint or maybe you want to start away from everybody the reason is because as you're placing these train to uh sticks <laughs> you 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 only have to connect all your cities by the by the railroad road. And it doesn't matter who puts them out. If you connect your railroad to somebody else's, then it's one giant railroad. Right. I'm having a problem saying that word, apparently. But so it, you know, you it's got some interesting strategy because you want to keep it you you might want to keep some people away, but keep other people connected to make it to help you out. Right. Anyway, you play um, until somebody has revealed that they've connected all five of their cities. They reveal it. You check it out. And then there's a little scoring system at the top. And essentially, you count up how many more moves it would take you to complete your city connections. Right. And you lose that many points, essentially. Mm -hmm. uh, and you play, like, what, five rounds or something? Five Three? sounds right. Yeah, I think it was, like, five. So, uh, what do you? let's just start off by saying this. Would you rather play this or Ticket to Ride? They're similar, but they are different. Yeah, I, you got colored cards in a, a map of the U.S., and it has to do with trains. Uh, I don't really... They're similar, I guess. Um, Ticket to Ride is definitely more in your face. That is true, because this is more like cooperative, but in a in a shady kind of way. Yeah, it's it, you're kind of mooching off people. <clears throat> yeah. It's like, let me hang out. Oh, he's going to go by where I need to go. Uh, I'll wait and connect to him here in a second. Let me now try and branch off all a different way. But then someone might tie in and the, they only need like one to hit something they needed. Yeah, I thought it was interesting because we played it with four and like two of us might start on the West Coast and two on the East Coast or, you know, for the most part. Right. But then somebody would always connect both sides together. And you didn't want to because you knew what was going to happen. Sometimes you'd have to. You'd have to, but you knew yeah. you knew it was like, okay, well. As soon as I do this, somebody's going to claim victory. Yeah, I'm going to connect these, and then someone's going to jump over here, and they're right next to a city they need, and it takes <laughs> one turn, and they got it. Yeah. I, although, I will say that by in saying that, I think it's a five-player game uh, total. It might be four. But I feel like I would actually like playing it with the more, more people because you do want to kind of tiptoe on that happening right you know if you're playing two players i might as well you might as well play ticket to ride mm -hmm. i feel uh unless there's special two-player rules at it i was just taught the game right so or you know we were just taught the game otherwise i mean it was really fun i kind of i will probably pick this up but really? I, i'm on the border because like i have ticket to ride 
So it's like, do I need two games? And I already have Railway or uh, Railroad Tycoon or Railways of the World. I've got the Tycoon version. Well, well like I said, I, I hear the comparison a lot of it to Ticket to Ride. It, it in a sense, you I can see the comparison, but I do believe they are different. I think they're pretty pretty different as far as the strategy goes. Yes, it, yeah. it's a it's a different gameplay. Um, so I think they are different enough to kind of warrant having both. Yeah. It, one thing I will say that I was kind of wary about the game until we were actually playing it is you can get a little lucky on your draw of your cities. Of course. I mean, yeah. But you're playing multiple rounds. Well, you know, it was funny. After we got... I didn't... I guess in the explanation of the game, I didn't get that it was multiple rounds. So we played the first round <laughs> and I was like, this game is awful. Yeah, because it's completely luck based on what cities you get, and then they're like, "Okay, next round." I was like, "Oh, okay. Well, yeah. that's that. That kind of alleviates my whole <laughs> beef with the game." Then, okay, so I I've got a few more tries at this to to do better. So, uh, it, it's still lucky on what you get, but that's kind of mitigated because you might have a one good turn and one bad turn and a few normal ones. It's a fast game, anyways. It is fast. I mean, I. I don't even think it took us an hour. Yeah, I, I don't mind if, if games have a lot of luck, uh, which it doesn't have a lot, but it does have some that could really make it easier for you. Um, it if it's a short game, it doesn't really bother me that much. So right, I uh, will I will recommend this. I think it's worth a try, especially if you're into train games, and maybe maybe Ticket to Rides kind of ran its course with your play group, and you're looking for another train game to play. Right. Obviously, you got all the 18xx games, but those are. <laughs> Those are in the uh, a, a different category, I think. A different yeah. uh, uh, step up, essentially. But I feel like this is super easy. I mean, basically, if somebody's going to ask you, all right, here's your five cards. On your turn, you get to place two of these black sticks. Connect all your points. Yes. That's it. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's so so simple, but the way it plays out is actually really, really intricate. So, right. Anyway, yeah. That's uh, Transamerica, unless you got anything else on that. That's it. Good game. Mm-hmm. 